Hello everyone, welcome to my third video in a series on decentralizing, distributing and synchronizing the web. Now in the previous video I started to show some basic features of Beaker Browser and when I was speaking about bookmarking and especially seeding websites, I mentioned that if no one else seeds my website then it will go offline. Now the team at Beaker have created a service to help us with that and it's called Hashbase. So I'm not going to get into that today, I have other things to show, but Hashbase is a service to keep your website online and keep it seeded. So if you wish to keep your uh, files online, this is a very good option. So for today I'm going to show you how to create projects and add them to the DAT network and share the links with friends. So the easiest thing to do is just go up here to the menu bar and go to create new and we can create an empty project. First thing to give it a title, my content and why not give it a nice little icon there. Alright, so here we already have a basic folder structure and this is what Beaker Browser has generated for this project. And if you click the link then it will show you these three files. So now we can go ahead and add a file. We can create either a file or a folder and it will just create a text file. And there we have a text file in which we can say hello world and let's get decentralized you can save that and it will instantly have been updated and there is the text file hello world and that is the easiest way to create a file and add it to the that network. From there you can go ahead and share the file, copy the that link and send it to anyone through any kind of instant messaging service. I would suggest Riot Instant Messenger and in another video I will give a tutorial on how to set up a Riot account. So this was the first and easiest way. Next Oh, sorry, as you can see, the content doesn't look like much. Not very interesting to look at. So, for that, they have added a web generator. You can click create a website. And now, added to the normal uh, .json and .ignore, they've added an HTML file, JS scripts, and also some styling, some CSS. So, this already takes it to a whole new level my first site once again you can give it a book a little icon and now we can go ahead and edit the M the HTML file perhaps before I do that there we go that is what they've created and we can even change the background and you can also view the source code and this takes us back to our library. So now we can easily change something. Remember to click edit. World and my first site. And very easily like that we have now updated this website. I'll show you a quick link to a website where you can copy and paste a lot of code. If you want to know anything, here's HTML. Go find out how to make paragraphs, how to add pictures, and anything you want. This site is incredible. The next way that we can share content is to create from folder. Now for this I'm going to select a website so that we can have something that looks really nice. And I have a whole bunch of templates that I found from different places. HTML5 up makes beautiful templates. But I'm going to select this one, heat distortion effects. 
choose folder, HTML template, and we can review some other settings here. You can always preview before anything is published. You can add the title. Add a description and some more links once more. Change the icon. And now that we've created this, we want to quickly preview it. Oh, it has not been published, so that's why the link will not work yet. If you want to review, here you can click on preview, and this will show us what this website will look like once it's been published and I think that looks great so I'll just go ahead and publish all to HTML template and that is very fast now when we click this link it will direct us straight to this once again you could copy the link here and send it to someone via instant messenger or you can click here and say copy very well, and that is all I have for today. That's the easiest ways to create some content and share them on Beaker Browser. Stay tuned for some more tutorial videos.